we'll get it started. Okay, I think we're on here. Yeah, we're live. Um, gonna have to do an unfortunate video here, a public rebuke of Jeremy Carter. Um, he's been involved with this ministry. He's gonna be joined by a, a few other brethren here as well. Um, they can each give their side of the story. And I will start out by just simply saying, admitting to a fault, and that is, um, I saw a lot of problems with Jeremy over the years, and I kept my mouth shut about it, hoping that he would correct things and, and whatever else, um, and he didn't. And I should have said things. I should have um, rebuked him, and I I was quiet on it, and uh, that's that was a fault. First uh, Timothy chapter 5, verse 8, it says, But if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. There are men that will have a hard time. They'll lose a job. They're trying to find work, whatever else. I've dealt with a lot of men like that, encouraged them, um, whatever else. But a man has a, a, um, a, a man will have a, a desire to work and provide. And also there's that, the, the scriptures say that he's supposed to provide. And Jeremy has not done that for years and I was not aware of a lot of the things and uh, different times he said that he was fired from a job and he wasn't fired he actually you know left the job and a lot of other things that and and uh, just playing video games for many many hours uh, a day when and then saying he can't find work and whatever so there was a lot of deception there some of it I was aware that okay I don't think he's being honest with me other things he was outright deceiving me um, it's very unfortunate, um, but I'm going to give the other brethren here some time to explain some things because I'm, I'm here maybe once or twice a week now to the office because of we're, we're building as much as we can throughout the summer months here. And so I'm very, very busy. I'm not really up on a lot of the, what's the latest, what, you know, things going on. Um, so I'm going to give some of the brethren some time here. Uh, to just explain their side of the, the whole thing, um, what's going on with Jeremy Carter. So who wants to go first? Um, well, I suppose I can say something real quick. Okay. Uh, well, for starters, I mean, just to, I mean, I'm directly involved in this situation, so I do feel like I need to, to be here. And... Um, so I, I've been friends with Jeremy for you know at least two years, two or three years. Not sure on the time frame, but um, but a while. I mean, I used to talk to this guy almost every day. So I feel like I've come to know him really well. And honestly, I mean, um, I don't even feel like I I know the guy anymore. You know, so he just seems to have changed so much. I mean, some of that. Um, I understand, but um, a lot of it is just doesn't add up some of the way some of the things he's doing, which we'll get into later. But um, it all started. I mean, we all felt distant from him. I mean, over time. I mean, I personally um, felt um, myself uh, getting more distant from him. You know, and just some things he said, some things he did were starting to really bother me. And, you know, I let some of the things can be small, minor things. I can just let go, kind of ignore. You know, it just seemed not important. And then it just build up over time and all those things just start to bother you. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, we've come to find out. I mean, I, I'll say that, you know, Jeremy has even like called um, called me names. Like for, like, um, if I can just say like spineless or, or novice. Um, you know, that be, you know, trying to, I was spineless because I was trying to get back in fellowship with uh, another brother he was having a feud with. And uh, he called me a novice for some other reason. And um, I should say that he did recently apologize to me for that. But I mean, that's something that still did happen. And um, he has yet to apologize to Tim because he's uh, did some slandering and some name calling against him as well. But he has not apologized, apologized to Tim for that. And so, um, and this thing is like when I just recently talked to him, it's like um, he's saying he apologized to me for some reason, but I've, but um, 
he seemed to not have anything against me, even though the same issues and concerns that we have here, that everyone else has here, I have against him too. And it's so if he's, you know, slandering, you know, those I'm in fellowship with, those I'm in fellowship with, I mean, that affects me too. It's something that, you know, I don't forgive. Um, I mean, if you can't forgive them, then, then uh, it's just something that, you know, I can't accept. I can't come back in fellowship with someone like that. So, um, and that's really uh, where it started is like the name called choking us. He did that behind our backs. Like when he, when he called me, uh, when he called me uh, names, he was doing that behind my back while I was still in fellowship with the guy when I thought everything was okay. And come to find out it wasn't. So, I mean, that's really where it all started. And uh, there were some other um, issues that both um, Tim and I started to notice. And uh, uh, we wanted to do, um, contact Jeremy on that. And uh, well, Tim, do you want to share some of that? Absolutely. Yeah, so I'm going to right now. I'm going to share my screen about uh, the screenshots that uh, we got here from Brother JT because we we reached out to, to to Jeremy just to simply talk to him. All right, this whole thing was meant was meant to be just a simple sit down, a very loving rebuke. We didn't want to rip his head off or anything. We didn't want to do anything like that. We just simply wanted to sit down with him and say, "Hey, brother." You got some sin going on. You're playing video games a little too much. You're putting eight hours a day into video games versus doing work for the body of Christ. When you claim to be in full-time ministry, that is a very big claim. You have to put your time in for the body of Christ because they're now seeing you as a person that they want to employ, a person that they want to give to if you're going to spread the word of God, if you're going to stand for doctrine and things. And when you sit there and let yourself fall into games and stuff and start forsaking researching and reading the Bible and stuff for you know, eight hours a day in a game, that's a big problem. If you didn't make the claim that you're in full-time ministry, none of this ever would have happened. But you started claiming that, started getting donations from the brethren. And when you when you get that stuff, you are held accountable to them. And if you can't hold yourself accountable to the brethren and do work for them because they're, they're giving you money out of their own wallet, I mean, what are you doing? You need to either come out and address that and say, hey, I'm sorry, I wasn't ready for this or something. But you didn't do any of that. You just sat there and collected money from them and didn't do anything for them and you just let yourself get consumed in the game. So I wanted to simply reach out. Me and Jake both had concerns. Just wanted to sit down and talk with you, but you didn't want to do that. You didn't, you just ran away. And here's the screenshot explaining this, that, um, that G JT sent us. This was on uh, Facebook and we, um, the fur, the first one was on Facebook. I reached out to Jeremy personally and I said, Hey, Jeremy, me and Jake just want to have a, have a meeting. We want to sit down and talk with you. And then immediately after I sent that, he saw it and deactivated his, his Facebook. So then we went to Amy and this is what we said. We said, hi, Amy, we see that Jeremy has deactivated his Facebook. Please let us know when he is home from work so that we can do our meeting. I can send a private hangout link to you, a messenger or email it to Jeremy, whichever he wants. And then Amy asked, do you know what this is about? And I said, Jake and I want to address some issues and concerns because we didn't want to talk about this through text. We wanted to, we wanted to sit down and have an actual face-to-face -face discussion through Hangouts, Skype, whatever whatever platform he wanted to use. And then this is him taking a screenshot of it and sending it to JT. And right here in the white is what Jeremy had to say about it. Oh, really? You have issues and concerns? That's cute. Um, that's something called pride, Jeremy, something that the Bible very much condemns. And you know that because you know you apparently know the scriptures. We spent a lot of time with you. You know that the Bible condemns pride. And what are you doing being so prideful? Why couldn't you just simply come out and talk to us? Now you've mm -hmm. gone around and spread lies and said all kinds of different stuff. You're trying to find all kinds of different things to say about all of us. And now you're, I mean, your stuff is coming undone. Your sin is finding you out. Yeah. And I saw that over the years too of myself, you know, that there was this extreme pride there that would flare up with Jeremy. And a lot of times he was, he was kicking people off, you know, live stream type of stuff that I was doing on my channel. And I'm, and I'm going, hold on there. No, just wait. And it just this boom, they're lost, you know, and, and people that I knew for years, he was saying, oh, no, they're lost. They're, they're not saved. They're definitely not saved. And I, and I was thinking, just hold on there, you know, but but anyways, go, go ahead. Continue, brother. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to show this, too, because this is uh, this was during um, this was during the stream that you and JT uh, did reviewing uh, brother JT's book, which I do want to mention that book is great. I, I've been reading through it and I've very much enjoyed it there, brother. I mean, really good work so far, but um, 
just uh, getting back to it though. But this was a screenshot that that was taken. Now I was rebuking someone, and we did do the courtesy of blo uh, blocking out names. We also blocked out Jeremy's number because we're sh still showing him co common courtesy. But the fact of the matter is, is I was on here rebuking somebody because they have a serious position on tobacco. They think tobacco is okay, that cigarettes is okay for Christians to partake in. And anyone who reads up about the health issues that cigarettes cause, what they can do to you and stuff, you know darn well you can't mess around with that. And also the fact that the Bible clearly says, Paul says, I will not be proud of the power of any. Talk about all things are lawful for me. I'm paraphrasing, but the Bible condemns addiction. And that is something that that's sin. When you get into an addiction, no matter what it is, whether it's overeating, whatever, that's sin in God's eyes. And you can't be doing that stuff. So I'm here rebuking that whole thing to somebody in the stream. And then Jeremy takes a screenshot of this. And this is what he says to JT. Tim is being a self-righteous P-R-I-C-K. So, I mean, right there, he's just taking jabs at me for no good reason. I, uh, what I did here was completely righteous. We're supposed to rebuke things, even if somebody thinks it's small, like cigarettes. I mean, you can, you know, if, if I see a brother, if you're struggling with cigarettes to all the brethren on the stream, if you are struggling with cigarettes, please understand, I'm not going to condemn you. I'm just simply saying, get that thing figured out and get it taken care of, please. It's going to destroy your health. I mean, it's just not good for you. Plus, my background, my, my family, a few of them smoke cigarettes, and they have so, they're coughing up you know, black stuff now and stuff. I've seen that thing destroy so many of my family members. So please understand for me, it's also a sensitive subject. I hate cigarettes. They're disgusting. But um, let me see here. And here's another thing too that he did is he, I mean, me and my wife have only been married for about going on six months now. So we've been, we're basically newlyweds and we've been enjoying time together and enjoying married life and stuff. And here she made me some muffins one day because uh, we got this, this like organic uh, muffin mix from the store. And we just, I want, I simply wanted muffins and we were having, I believe this is breakfast, I think it was. And um, right here, Jeremy, for no good reason at all, takes a jab at me again and takes this picture and stuff. And you see what, what uh, my wife wrote here, that marriage is so fun. And then he, he writes, t um, he looks like a whipped dog, like slandering me to brother JT for no good reason. I mean, who does that? Who would sit here and take Someone who's who's newly who's newly married and just enjoying enjoying what the what the Lord's blessed them with, and then would sit there and say that about somebody. That's just wicked. There's no there's no grounds for this. So Jeremy, you're wrong on that, and that, that's really wicked. You owe me an apology for this. You owe me an apology for a lot of this stuff. Yeah. And that was that was when he was still in fellowship with you, right? Yeah, that was yeah, yeah that was, that, yeah, that was going on. Uh, like this, and Tim, once you're done, I'll I'll give my side of the story to give a, a further background to why he's saying this stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But get, get, go on and continue. I'll I'll give my piece a minute. Yeah, yeah, and then um, right here we got uh, we got a screenshot. This is recent. This is now that he's now he's actually going as as was stated here that he's actually going to the Max Bauer group and stuff and and all these these heretics that attack us on a on a daily basis. He's actually going to them now and running to them because he can't deal with the fact that he's wrong. He cannot deal with the fact that he's been completely found out in sin. And he, and rather than just simply repent to us, simply just apologize and just sit down and talk, he wants to run to these heretics and now start playing this stuff. He says, um, quote, hey, Mary, just so you know, I'm no longer part of Brian's group. They pretty much stabbed me in the back. We are not going to agree on every doctrine. At least we both understand that Jesus Christ sacrifice is the only way to be saved. I'll be putting out videos again and go back to my roots and talk about God's grace again. I was really getting caught up in calling everyone lost that disagree with us. What a fool I was. The thing is, is when you stand against prayer and you stand against all these all these uh, biblical doctrines, you are lost because you're messing with spiritual stuff. And mm -hmm. anyone that says prayers of work is a hyper dispensationalist and they're going to hell as it is. So, I mean, it's biblical to call someone lost that stands against something so simple in scripture as calling on the name of the Lord. But, I mean, the whole point being is that nobody stabbed you in the back. Nobody stabbed him in the back. We wanted to talk. He refused to. And now he's trying to say we stabbed him in the back. How do we do that when we reached out to you wanting to talk? I thought stabbing someone in the back is not saying anything to them and coming out and trying to attack them on a personal level like that. But that's not what happened. So, again, you know, just another lie that he's being found out in. Mm hmm. And I don't have a group, by the way. Mm -hmm. People are friends of this ministry, and you can leave anytime you want to. You know, I don't, I don't, you know, none of you 
uh, come up here to visit me and my and walk around in white robes on my property or something like that. And you know, I sit on a throne and you carry me around or something. I mean, <laughs> stuff, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. You know, I mean, whatever. I I I mean, I I disagree with Jeremy on a, a lot of different issues. And I didn't kick him out. I didn't stab him in the back or whatever. And, and I saw a question over here. I need it uh, addressed. And that was they said that uh, Jeremy is you know, saying that, that he emailed me and he said, you know, would you let me tell my side of the story? And I just deleted his email, um, mainly because I don't have time, you know, and the guy has lied to me over and over and over again. And I thought, okay, what's he going to do? What's he going to say? You know, he's just going to repeat some of the, the stuff that he's attacked Tim on and, and go after Tim's wife and things like that. And, and whatever else, I, it just, why do I want to continue that? I mean, his his ethics are are terrible, to be quite frank. And you know, and so I just thought, you know, I, I don't, I'm not going to keep this thing going and whatever else. So I deleted his email. That's my answer. Mm-hmm. And um, here's here's another screenshot that he sent to a brother on Facebook. I'm not gonna not gonna mention who the brother is, but this brother was just going to him and just. This brother was trying to just get him to, to hear hear out the rebuke, essentially. And then here's what he had to say to uh, to this brother and everything. Again, just a bunch of pride. Ha ha. OK. Keep telling yourself that he kicked me out without even hearing my side. Tim went and lied about me. You can have Tim and Jake. They are novices anyways. So here he is uh, also bad mouthing Jake again and everything and uh, attacking me at the same time, calling us novices. You know, it's really something coming from somebody who doesn't even, who doesn't even understand what the tree of life is, the tree of, tree of life in Revelation 22, because he keeps on saying he doesn't understand how people in the millennial kingdom are going to get saved or enter into uh, the new Jerusalem. You read Revelation 22, it clearly says, blessed are they that do his commandments, that they have, may have right to the tree of life and may enter into the gates into the city. And if you run the reference to uh, Genesis, you see the tree of life is a, a, a way of that people can gain eternal life because that's why Adam and Eve were kicked out too because it says um, it says specifically that they may eat of the tree of life and live forever. So, I mean, you know, he wants to talk about novices. Why didn't he ever address that and everything? I mean, again, just uh, it's point, you know, simple hypocrisy and everything on his side. Seeing how... If there's any other screenshots here, kind of scrolling through. There's a bunch. There's a bunch more, but it looks like I don't have every single one of them. And then, of course, here's him contacting uh, the, the heretics, Deborah Gill, this wicked witch right here, and they said that he apologized if he said anything nasty or mean to her as well and stuff. And Deborah Gill's wicked. All she ever does is slander her brother Brian or slander anybody. I'm just saying she has lied about me so many times, and I have the screenshots proving it. And I haven't brought him out because I, I don't really care. I don't even feel like giving her screen time because she's not worth it. You know? But I have the screenshots where she like openly lied about me. Just and like the lies aren't even good. They're just like so like mm -hmm. they never even once said that. You know. Yep. Yeah, I remember she told a lie about me the one time that I used profanity in one of my videos. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Really. You know, I mean, she might as well just come out and say I stole a spaceship from uh, Area 51 or something. I mean, <laughs> met Marvin Marshall when you're there. Yeah. <laughs> so, Tim, was that, was that all you're going to say about that? Um, it looks like it. I think that's pretty much. There's a ton more screenshots, but those are the the main yeah. ones right there, just proving that he's been lying and that he's been a hypocrite and everything, and he's just. He's just going around trying to pull whatever he can. I mean, you know, it's just uh, and that's the thing is that, you know, pictures worth a thousand words. We've already talked to a couple of brethren about this. And all we had to do is send them these screenshots, especially the one where we simply asked to meet. And he said no. And the Bible clearly says that in, you know, in the book of Matthew, that if you take if one or two witnesses go to a brother and he refuses to repent, then bring it to the church as we are doing pretty much right now. And then after that, if he still refuses to repent, he needs to be cast out. And that's the biblical way of doing things. That's why there's none of this neutral stuff. I'm going to get, I've already been informed that there's someone in the comments trying to say this or that. So I'm going to check, check that out real quick. But um, Yeah, I'm going to say, Tim and Jake, if you, if, you, if you have anything else to say, go ahead and say it. Because um, I'll, I'll give my, my piece here in a minute. 
I'll try to be quick about it. <laughs> okay. Video. Well, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, like I said, um, uh, like I said, I did just recently talk to him, and uh, like I said, he tried to apologize to me, but again, um, he's still slandering those I'm in fellowship with, and it is confirmed that he does think Brian is running some sort of cult. And uh, I always known Jeremy to to defend Brian, to understand these accusations that these heretics, you know, always why they always said that. You know, Jeremy was always right there to to defend Brian. And it's like we were always on that same page, but now he's you know? saying those same things that, you know, he's, you know, it's just, yeah, like I said, I don't even feel like I, I know him anymore. So, and because uh, the thing is, it's like these people, you know, when he brought it back to, it was like uh, he he thinks that these people are more in line in salvation than we originally thought. But again, I mean, he says he has proof of that video. So he, he was trying to send me a link or something. But no, I know what these people believe. And so, I mean, I just it's, got done it's writing not, a book about it, like which 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 he claims to have read, by the way. Um. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, but yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's exactly that's a good example. Um. So, yeah. I mean, uh. But yeah, he was saying he was because like I um. I had to point out like I, so I just tried to hear his side and all that because uh, I didn't really hear much from him because as he wasn't talking to us, so I just felt like I had to hear him out. And um, yeah, again, I just feel like I should I should be here since I'm directly involved and I know about this stuff. So, um, but yeah, uh, he was saying like because I, I pointed out cause like the issue I mentioned with um, with a uh, with another brother that we were in fellowship with a year ago. He was so Jeremy was so suspicious uh, suspicious of this brother of of talking to um, to Max Bauer. And uh, Jeremy was saying that this brother was lost uh, because of this. And um, I was like, no, no, let me talk to him and all that. And I was sure that, you know, this brother was still saved at the time. And um, yeah. Uh, and so now Jeremy is doing the same thing. Now he's talking to Max Barrow. So it's like, what am I supposed to think? You know, and he <laughs> claims I pointed out that hypocrisy. And he just says that he was blinded. He was blinded and that he was wrong about that. I mean, sure, I guess he could change his mind, but I mean, it seems like, you know, hypocrisy there at the surface, but I mean, he just, he's, he just claims to have changed his mind now that, you know, but, um, but again, like, uh, like we said, when we examine their doctrines, they're, they're not the same. And so, and, uh, it's a, they preach a different gospel and, um, that's, that's the bottom line. Yeah. 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 And, you know, the whole thing is, too, that Jeremy, you know, originally when I changed my channel name, um, he just we just did a little joke. And I said, yeah, just put up, you know, my channel name just as a funny thing and whatever else. And, and he's yeah, he said that way, you know, people say, oh, let's look at the cult and whatever else. It was it was, you know, it wasn't my idea. It wasn't Jeremy's idea. We both kind of just agreed on it. And I thought, you know, I just kind of said, I just leave it up for a few days and then take it down. Well, he's left it up this whole time. You know, and and it's kind of okay. Take the name down. You know, I had a you know I used my the, the name Husky three ninety four XP because of my channel was originally a logging channel and I actually used my chainsaw. I don't think Jeremy uses a chainsaw, but you know the whole point is take it down. You know, and I didn't I didn't force him to use my old channel name. I I said it just as a funny joke. So if I'm a cult leader, you know, again, how does that work? You know, if I'm such a bad cult guy and whatever, he's free from it. Well, then why not change your channel name? It doesn't make any sense. So uh, I have yeah. some other thoughts on Jeremy, but I'll, I'll save that for a little okay. bit. But go ahead, brother JT there. Well, here, one thing. Uh, Tim, Tim, do you have some on screen there you want to share real quick? Yeah, I was just going to point this okay. out, too, because now he's, you know, now that he's you know, now his pride's got the best of him. Now he's going around trying to, uh, of course, like was said earlier, trying to call Brother Brian here a cult leader and all this stuff and yeah. everything. And right here in one of his uh, Facebook posts, beware of a cult-like mentality. It's a lot closer than you think. 
you know, just, just, just a subtle jab there at, you know, brother Brian and stuff. And it's just, you know, it's just, I mean, for la it's, it's laughable. It really is. It's like, we've already established that all of us have different, we have different views that differ in, in uh, certain areas and stuff. We don't all just follow just the same exact thing and all that. I mean, right. you know, the, the standard is the King James Bible of 1611. It's not me. It's not JT. It's not Jake. It's not Brian. It's the, what the Bible says plain and simple. And that's the way we're supposed to be. Yep. Yeah. And if you have to break off fellowship with somebody, it doesn't mean you're running a call. Yeah. What a man. Yeah. You know, I, I'll say, I'll say that, <laughs> but all right. Um, I'll try to, I'll say my side of things here. Um, I'll try to be quick because I have, I have a lot of things I could say as well. Um, and the reason why I'm here um, is like Tim and Jake, um, I've known Jeremy, I want to say about three years. I met him right around the time, um, what's his face? Um, um, Jim Beckwith was then was now breaking away from your ministry, Brian. That was by the time I met him and we started to talk then. So, so it's going back a little bit. And I've known him for a while and um, we've had some time, I think, of, really good, you know, fellowship and talking. I've been on some of those new streams with Tim and Jeremy and I, I did one stream, you know, solely with, with Jeremy, um, going back a little bit. And so, you know, we've had really good, um, I think good times of fellowship. Now I will say this also, and like Brian, you said at the beginning of the stream and I hold myself accountable to this my, myself here, there was things I noticed way back when, and I didn't say nothing. And I had, and I will say, I always said that I had a, that just a weird feeling going far back as then but i let it go and i just thought i thought it would just maybe just I don't know, maybe just me or some i don't know but there like i said there were some things i noticed along the way and i won't get into all that you know for sake of time here that i just kind of was like eh but i put it aside because i don't want to you know i just want to get along with the brethren kind of a thing and you know and you know and that is scripture you know you, you know to have you know peace among all men be peace among the brethren that's there but not at a cost of truth and there's been multiple times now, especially where he has been lying to me. I will get into that in a second. But to bring this up to kind of more um, present times, um, and to say everyone else too, because um, he has, you know, multiple multiple times expressed his, you know his struggles with making money, not having the, you know not you know able to keep the lights on, pay his phone bills, whatever. And he's made videos about that, and he's talking about that. And I have actually sent him money to help him out. So just so wrong, that's clear. I have sent him stuff. I have donated things to him. I've donated to him a copy of my game a while back um, for him to test, and I'll discuss that in a minute. But so I mean, so I was trying to help him. And now, now let me say this. Now I'm not looking for some IOU. I'm not looking for something. Okay, now that I gave you money or I did a favor, now now you've got to you know pay me back sort of thing. Not at all. Do not think that. But say with like my game, for example, and this would happen so many times, I would ask him the most basic of favors. He wouldn't do any of them, almost none of them. And 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 when people were talking like small little favors, and like like my game, sent him a, a copy, and he started you know to do a little work. On. I asked him, can you before? And th this is before I made it available for purchase. I said, can you go through and help find some mistakes? Because I'm in you know, typos, whatever else. And I sent out just some other brother as well. Um, I sent one out to a sister. And you know she found some 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 mistakes for me. Thank you that um you, you know who you are, um and so then so Tim or not Tim um Jeremy, he he found like one mistake and then he pointed out to me and we got and I so I fixed that you know mistake on the on the on the questions, and um so then he's then so then then he said um he had a whole list for me, I'm like okay cool and I asked him for over a month. Can I get this list? Can I get because I wanted to get this game out. Like I, I, because I wanted to have it, you know, right, you know, you know, before Christmas. That was kind of the idea. Can you give me that list? Give me that list. Give me that list. Couldn't get the list. Couldn't get it. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. And then this was, and and, and I'm bringing this up just because this is just one example of what I'm talking about. Um, or another example is more recently with my with my book, the Romans Ten Controversy. Um, I let him read it. Um, I was, I didn't, I said, um, you know, uh, I just sent like a PDF to him. Um, and, um, I wasn't necessarily looking, you know, for, for like, um, you know, grammar mistakes. Now, if you find, if you found them, let me know. But mainly I wanted him to check out the thing about Lordship salvation that, you know, is because he was involved in that stuff. And I wanted him to get, is, does that sound 
you know, okay, did I, did I cover everything I kind of needed to cover? And he said, yeah, sure. And then he basically turned into, he said, okay, I'll just read through the entire thing. And so then I asked him, so did you read it? Did you find it? And then it's like, oh, yeah, I did. Or, but no, no, I really didn't, you know, and he didn't. But now, but now he's claiming that he, he has. He sent me that via text message. So then one day I asked him, can you leave a review of my book? Now, keep in mind, we're, we're on, he's on his phone. We're texting each other. He's like, yeah, sure. I'll get, I'll get on it right, you know, just, you know, right away. Get on later that day. There's no review. So I asked him, so, hey, where is that review you're talking about? He's like, oh, honestly, man, here, I, I, haven't, I haven't done it. Here, I'll do it now. No review, you know. So and this is that kind of thing, just the most basic favors, just go with thing. But now to bring this up to now, now here's my involvement, the whole situation with, with, with Brian, Tim, and Jake here. Is this went back, I forget when, I forget the exact date, but this is going back a little bit. Um. Jeremy text messaged me late, late one night, and uh, he, by his text message, was sounding you know, kind of depressed and upset, and he was voicing his concerns about about Tim and his wife. And so, I, and, and for everyone to understand, now, I haven't really talked to Tim and his wife that um, you know as much as I have now. We've only really talked here or there, maybe you know on the streams, and maybe a couple messages here or there. So we really hadn't talked too much. And so then I've, I've trusted Jeremy for a while, and I said, and he brought up some issues, like kind of the issues that we've we kind of already discussed. And now how basically now he's just being, now that, that Tim was basically being lazy, he's not really, he doesn't have that fire anymore. And, and, and really the claim he was making that his wife is basically just some like, some like, some, some Jezebel that, you know, like that pulls the strings. That's basically what he was trying to imply. And so I, and I was just like, oh, okay, I, I'll look out for that type of stuff. And, and so, because because the thing is, he if he decides to respond, or whatever, um, you know. So I, you know, if he said to respond to this, yeah, I was going on with him, and I agreed with him, like, oh, okay, yeah, okay, sure, yeah, I'll look out for it now, you know, whatever. And because I did, I haven't talked to Tim or his wife, so I didn't know what was really going on. I didn't have a full side of the story yet. And um, and then he, you know, he started to try to, you know, you know, schmooze me up and brown nose me and say, you know, how how mean him and, and Brian. Or, or like, you know, or like, or we're, we're like the only ones that, that are really, that are really trying and they're really trying to, you know, for the body of Christ and the only one I can really trust. And I, I just love your work, man. And, you know, and I, I took the compliment. I was like, Hey, thanks. But the back of my mind, I was going like, you know, oh, hold on now. You haven't done anything in for how long, you know, and to everyone, please just understand me. I'm not trying to sound prideful. I'm not trying to sound puffed up, but I'm just, just going to be straightforward about it. You know, I'm doing all these different things, different videos working on game, just released a book. I'm out constantly, you know, well, I shouldn't say constantly, but I'm out, you know, I dedicate days where I, just, I take a bit, stack of tracks. I go out, I give out gospel tracking, which he has a problem with, by the way. Um, he will not go out and even witness to people, nor will he has any kind of salvation video on his channel. Look it up if you don't believe me. Um, I mean, I mean, he, he's openly, I think to Tim, he's openly voiced this where he doesn't really, he, he actually said, you know, you know, you know, oh, my ministry is not really good, get out, getting out and, and like, and like witnessing to people. That's a complete denial of scripture. Second Corinthians five is very clear. Everyone is given the mystery of reconciliation. That's very clear. Um, but the, the back back what I was saying though, I mean, I'm doing all these different kind of things, and to him, to, for him to put like the, for him to put himself like in the same boat as me, it's like no, sorry, you're not. I like, guess I'm not trying to sound puffed up. I'm just staying in reality. I'm I'm doing all these different things. You haven't done anything, you know. But anyway, so. So this has been going on. He and he starts sending me text messages like the one Tim had our, has already shared. Some of those things he was saying to me, and those are just a, a few of them. And he was just, you know, calling, and saying stuff, you know, some very nasty things about his wife. And again, I have never talked to his wife, so I'm just going like, oh, okay, because he claims and he says he has. Like, so I believe him. Like, oh, okay, yeah, I guess. For what he was telling me, I was going like, oh yeah, this doesn't sound too good, you know, that he's basically was saying that she's some sort of like Jezebel, like like narcissistic, controlling whatever, you know. And so I just went, I went along with it. Well, then during our podcast, when I had with Brian uh, several weeks ago before my book, um, Jeremy had, had told me, can you, can I talk to Brian? Tell him what's going on so he can be aware of this stuff. And I was like, okay, sure. I'll relay the message. And now Brian, you remember right after we got done with the podcast, we started talking about it. I remember he sent in some of the screenshots immediately from that stream. And I was reading to him. I was, even I was like, 
I don't really see what's wrong with these. And those are the ones Tim had, had shown earlier. And I was going like, well, I don't really get what's wrong with that. Cause she, she was, cause he was bringing up the thing of like, you know, how mocking his wife saying like, Oh, oh how she's trying to be some like authority whenever I'm like, well, I mean, she is a moderator and she's just asking a base, basic, basic, <laughs> answering basic questions. Um, you know, whatever. And so then you two had talked immediately there, immediately thereafter. And then, Brian, you e e emailed me saying there's some things that I've been worried about with him. I've noticed. And then, so then later that night I talked, I called Tim and I wanted to see what's going on and get this thing cleared up. And then we talked and compared some notes. Yeah. All Jeremy's been doing is give me half truths. He told me some stuff there that's true, but then he wouldn't ex elaborate even more. And it's like, well, that that's not, that's not the truth, you know? Um, and we've talked more and more and then we're going like, yeah. And, and like I said, and I revealed, you know what, I've known a lot of this stuff that you guys are bringing up. It's not just you guys. I've been thinking it too. I've just never really said anything about it. I've just let it go. And like I said, that's my fault. I should have said something a while ago. So I, you know, so everyone forgive me for not bringing some of the stuff up. I, sh I should have said something a while ago, but I never did. And because again, we would talk almost like it's about every day and I was seeing some of this stuff and it just, it just be a small, like, like, like little lies. Like I remember one time I, sent him a screenshot of a, of a quote that I was going to put in my, that I put in my book and he took it, put it on his like mental illness Mondays. And not that I'm looking credit for, I don't, I'm not looking for credit, but he put it up there and just made some like just ridiculous lies saying, Oh, oh saying how like, Oh, he got off of Facebook and like, you can look at the post. Like that's not on Facebook. That was, that was like clearly not. And it just, it just be like little things like that. I'm just like, why did you have to lie about that? Like you just, just said, Hey, here's this quote from whatever done. It just be basic, just basic things like that. And so that's kind of where I'm at now. We've mm -hmm. discussed information and, um, and I've come to re realization as well. It's like, yeah, you know what? He's just been lying. And I've noticed too, a lot of his bitterness, he's, I noticed they're going to very, I'm just very kind of bitter, vitriolic kind of a guy. And that, I, that's kind of rubbed off on me. And so again, so, and I will say too, cause, and, cause then he, cause then he was, you know, he was schmoozing up and trying to, you know, play like, you know, play like the, the sad, like whip duck to all, to all, you know, to the enemies of the, uh, of your ministry, Brian. And it's like, so, cause obviously they're going to be, obviously you guys are watching right now, um, or you will be, mm -hmm. you should see some of the crap he has said about you. Okay. I have him on my phone and to others, you should see some of the junk he has said about you. And I will say this too, cause I know you've been watching. I will admit some of my stuff I admit has gone even for me a little too far and I'd ask you please to give me about it. That being said though, I will say up front to it and everything I've said in my book when I said on camera is absolutely 100% true. I'm not retracting any of it. You guys are lost. You're preaching just completely just something out of left field that no one else teaches but you guys on the internet. But, but enough said there. Um, but it just, and the thing is now he's acting like, like a cult. Well, hold And the thing is I was telling Tim and Brian this, obviously we're not a cult, but according to these guys that, <laughs> gonna say something else but um he was the one that act, acted very acted very cult like like you said brian he took your name which was meant to be a joke but then he actually took it which is okay that's kind of weird but then if you watch and watch his videos everyone over time you will notice how he starts to emulate brian and they were and, and these same people have pointed out that fact and they were right and I saw it too, and they, they were emulating you. And then now it's like, well, hold on. You're not running some cult here. You are the one, you know, Jeremy, emulating him. And now, you know, like now that you've now, – now that another sin has been kicked, off he goes. And and then he starts to change his doctrine and stands he used to, to hold to. Yep, and that's exactly what I was telling some other brethren. That's, and I said, I said, you watch now. In a matter of days, he's going to start taking back all of what he was saying. And sure enough, he, we are discussing this. He already has. He's already starting to say, "Oh, now we're, you know, we're on, on, the, on like the, I guess, you know, like what Jake was saying earlier about how, you know, their, you know, their beliefs are a little more close to ours, whatever, whatever how we said it." And like I said, there's a lot more things I could say, because um, it's just, it, it's it definitely, it's just, it's, it's terrible and it's sad, but I mean, it's, it needs to be said, and, 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 and that's the thing too. Like we said earlier, we're not backstabbing you at all. And that's why I even said to him in the text messages, my last thing I ever, I ever spoke to him, I was like, did you talk to, to Brian and Tim? Because I know, and because I had the screenshot, because he sent me, he sent it to me that they wanted to talk to him. So did you talk to him? And then I, I even asked him, it's like, it's like, okay, what did, what did he explicitly say about you? Cause he was making the claim that Tim's slandering me. It's like, well, what did he explicitly say? You know? And 
so that's the thing. No, no one here is um, uh, what's the word he used? Um, a, a, a backstabbing. Um, no one here is doing that. We, you guys, wanted to reach out and talk to him, and he didn't want to. And so, I mean, like I said, um, that's really all I, I have to say about it. And it's just like there's other stuff I could say, but we'll, yeah. we'll keep. It. Um, you know, I, I have. I just need to say a couple of things, you know, again here, and that is, um, you know, I came here to YouTube many years ago and, uh, I was originally King James video ministries was making DVDs and, you know, that's what I did. And I was selling the DVDs and then I thought I could get these out to people better. If I just put them for free online, people could still buy them on my website at the, t at the time early on. And, you know, or you could buy them the hard copy of it. And I was selling through Gail Ripplinger through her ministry. And, um, you know, it turned into a thing where people started to ask questions to me. And it was, what do you think about this? What do you think? Could you do it? Could you do a study on that? And that's how it really took off. And, you know, it always perplexes me how people can say that I run a cult. Uh, you know, I disagree with people and I, and I break fellowship with people that doesn't make me a cult leader. I've right. never said to anybody, you have to act like me to gain my favor. I get irritated when people act like me, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't, you know, if somebody's just having fun or whatever, that's fine. But I'm saying, you know, don't, you know, be your own man. You know, when I talked to Jeremy the one time and, and he was saying about going into full-time ministry, I said, absolutely do it. But I said, it has to be about you. You be your own man. You know, don't, don't try to build off of what I've done or whatever else. You, you be your own man. In ministry that's what you have to do paul talked about that not about not you know not building on another man's foundation and you know he's going where christ is not named and you know uh it just that's bothered me about jeremy but you know I, there's always been and and i'll say this and whatever people want to make of it but uh i've i've dealt with con artists different times throughout my life and there's always kind of this little fishing thing that they do where they'll put out this little thing of I'm struggling. I need, I need money as far as, uh, you know, whatever. And then, you know, it's, you say, well, you know, I can't really do anything. And it's quickly drawn, drawn back, you know, and I've seen that thing time and time and time again with Jeremy. And, um, I never gave him a cent, um, simply because, you know, I've, I've, I just, I always got a really, really weird feeling about Jeremy and, yeah. you know, it, it, it's just, you know, and Brian, and, and to, to add your point, to start to cut you off, just to your point, because, because again, I made that mistake early on, should have never done that. I don't know why I ever did, um, but just, well, I, I, no, I mean, I'm just trying to be helpful, be nice, you know, just, you know, you know, you know, really on my end, but, and, and, but to that point, I made a, a I, I kind of told myself at one point. I'll, I'll still keep posted with the guy, but I, and this is going back before all this even happened. I told myself, I will never send him anything again. I, I told myself that and I made sure I was going to, because the thing is every time I asked this guy a favor, couldn't get, I could not get any, anything like just, you know, I'm getting people, I'm talking like just the basic things. I'm not, I'm not asking money back. I've never done that. I have simply just like, just, can you, Hey, can you do some, just a quick little thing for me or whatever? Nothing. Never. And so I made the thing like, you know what, forget it. I've sent you, I've sent all this money, I've sent all these gifts and I've helped you out in some other things and I get nothing, just like nothing back. I get some cold shoulder. It's like, no, you know what? No, I'm done with that. I'll still talk, I'll still fellowship with you kind of thing, but it's like, forget it. Um, because you're, you're just going to keep abusing it. And, and it's another thing too, to, I, I guess uh, one more thing I got to say, because you were saying the whole thing with the whole cult thing again we've got all of us here have this we, we, we disagree on certain issues but we still fellowship just fine you know what i mean no problem and 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 that's thing i know i know it's with him like he said earlier he is just so quick to just like boom block everybody i'm just like and i even for me i'm going like hold on just back off a little bit you know like you're saying earlier and 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 this happened because i was on uh tim and jeremy's streams a few times and so many times again the whole issue of, of like of like geocentricity and the issue of the flat earth and I've 
told and everyone watching, I've told Brian, Jake, and Tim here that hey, I do not believe in the whole, you know, like the thing you you know that Jeremy tries to you put out there. Now I'm not gonna break fellowship with that. That's totally fine. I just and I just don't really see that that view. No problem, no problem at all. And yet there's so many times during the stream, like he would just continually just talk about it and, and it's just like and it's it, Tim, are you saying something? Uh it's just um no, there's uh, someone in the comments I'm going to get to here in a second, but I'm just letting you uh, uh, get oh, no, That's basically it, though. It'd just be stuff like that. And then, because we were on, because the last stream we ever did together, uh, me, Jeremy, and Tim, we we got done at like midnight because he spent an hour talking about something he's already talked about a thousand times over. And it's not, and like I said, I'm not complaining because I don't believe in it. It's just, you've already talked about it. And just be stuff like that. And that's nothing about his channel. It's always the same material. There's nothing really new. Now, now Tim, you're going to say something? Yeah, I was just gonna say one one real quick. I also just want to uh, mention. I, I don't know if we mentioned it yet in the uh, in the stream, but the whole the uh, the whole thing about the tobacco and stuff. Uh, like, I know I know why Jeremy said that about me in particular, call me a self righteous pric. He said yeah. that because he vapes and he hasn't shown any of the brethren on camera before on my podcast or anything. Because uh, I know that he knows that it's a, it's definitely a sin to be addicted to that stuff. But he uses those vape things with the. They basically look like, look like batteries that you s smoke vapor out of and all that stuff. And he vapes on a regular basis. And, you know, I get that that people struggle with that. That's not what I'm saying. But me and Lizzie rebuked that thing to him over Facebook, long story short. And uh, he uh, he basically got prideful over That's something else he went to Jake about, saying that I was being self-righteous and stuff for simply rebuking the the vape the vape habit and everything to, uh, to his wife, actually, Amy, because Amy was the one that was talking to us at the time. But that's just right there. It's like that's pride. Instead of saying, instead of calling me self righteous, why not just say, well, yeah, you know, I struggle with that. I mean, I'd be completely understanding about something like that. I wouldn't get all on your case or whatever if you just simply admit to the struggle. But that's not what he did. He got prideful and said, "Tim's being self righteous." Uh, <laughs> that's not self righteous. That's rebuking a sin. I mean, mm -hmm. that's just one thing I wanted to add. But I'm going to go ahead and address uh, Michael Smith here in the comments because he's, um, well, yeah, because uh, I may say. Real, real quick, he's asking questions, and he says, uh, Tim, you came to me about a personal matter and used it to try to drive a wedge between Jeremy and I. After we talked about it, you made it seem like you understood, then you used that against me. Why? Um, Michael, I never used anything against you. Um, I know what you're talking about, and the whole thing is is that I haven't used it against you because it's not something I'm telling anybody. I just I, uh, I simply talked to uh, Brother Jake here about it and everything, that whole thing. But as far as that's concerned, nobody's using that against you. My simple answer to you is get that thing figured out because that's a very serious thing. It's not something to be taken lightly, and the Bible very much condemns anger. So you need to get that thing figured out. And to another thing you said too, you uh, you're you're defending Jeremy by saying that he's op that he's just having an open discussion with these heretics. The Bible says a man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject. There's no room for this gray area. Well, he just wants to have an open. No, reject. Stop yeah. talking. Don't make yeah. it. For him, yeah. Michael. Stop making yeah, if, if you're going to talk to someone of all people, why would you go to them? The people that have been on that, that just never let up on us for like years, we can't catch a break every single day. There's some new video about, about one of us, you know, basically. Yeah, why would you go to them? Yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying. It's just like it's, I'm saying it's so cowardly that you'd run to a group that's going to affirm every single sin, that's going to agree with you on every single point, and act like, well, you know, I came from the Brian cult, you know, like. What a man, you know? You know how cute. Yeah. Were you going to say something, Brother Jake? Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me good? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I was just going to kind of um, reiterate, uh, reiterate, because, yeah, I mean, this is the this is the thing, is, like, how this call, how this, how all this may seem is, like, sure, it's, like, just, like, in, in fellowship terms, like there are things that yeah we struggle with, and you know, doctrinal, my, like you know, minor doctrinal things we have, that we all disagree with and struggles, and like just I just wanted to confirm, like since Tim um, mentioned it about you know Jeremy's vaping, it's something that um, that I would struggle with because I know that uh, you know I just feel like I shouldn't mention it since it's been brought to the table, but yeah, that's the uh, the issue um, you know that that I personally struggle with. And yeah, it's something that I don't justify. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to to, to um, 
go ahead and and, uh, and confirm that because I mean if Jeremy would respond to this this is what he would say what about Jake? but yeah no, that. I mean it's a struggle yeah no so, I mean we all have struggles I've told him I told him Brian Jeremy some of the struggles I have you know you know we all have yeah. our thing. and so so like we're not like condemning him because he's like off of some one sin oh cast him out no 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 you mean it's just and, and like like I was yeah, telling yeah. we've been talking for a while. This whole issue would not have come up if he would if he would not have said I'm in full time ministry. But since he made that claim, now he and then it's like now he's just using that as just a way to get away with everything and say I'm going to take a break after he just got started in full time ministry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. And so yeah, just just the the major thing is is that. You know, when Jeremy, you know, was doing this, it was like you know, how just going back to the whole cult like mentality is that he, you know, he's he's acted this way before. Like he's he's cut people off or like people that, you know, you know, a year or two ago have came into our fellowship with, with Tim and I. And, you know, there would be some sort of feud and Jeremy would be the one to kick them out. And um, in, you know, sometimes whether that was right or not. I mean, depends on the situation. I mean, there was one with a certain brother I disagreed with, but, um, but yeah, he's always been the one to kind of kick people out, to always cast that judgment of, of lost, of always being yeah. suspicious of someone, like right from the start. It's like he's always suspicious of someone, like, oh, they're they're going to be a fake. But yeah. look what it looks like. What what do we say now? We've, you know, it's like, what are we supposed to say? I mean, and now, of course, now he's changing now it's like oh we shouldn't you know like in that screenshot we showed like uh oh you know what a fool i was of thinking you know everyone's lost it disagreed with us i mean but look uh, you know it's you know going back to just what what we were saying earlier going to these these heretics that are always condemning us and slandering us i mean why i mean why is that why would he go to them of all people mm -hmm. and um just, you know, it just really doesn't make sense. Yeah, and those same people attack Jeremy. So, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. You know, it doesn't make any sense. Why, you know, you leave and then you go to them, you know? It's, it's, yeah, and I will, we'll say, or, no, no, go, go ahead, go ahead. You're fine. Okay. Yeah, I just, I just, I just do say, like, I do want to say that I do appreciate, um, there was something that was brought out by um, uh, Jason. I don't know his last name. He has that JCI Swing 2 YouTube channel. Really? I do. There was something that he brought out, a video he made um, about Jeremy apologizing to Jason for, for making fun of him. I do appreciate that. That's something I do appreciate Jeremy doing because um, I mean, because I feel that same way. Because I mean, I in one of my recent videos, I mean, I, I kind of brought that out how, you know, we shouldn't make so fun of someone's appearance or the way they look or how they talk because when I mean, it's funny to do that to heretics, you know, they seem that way, but you know, a saved brother could, could look funny, could, uh, um, you know, um, could talk a certain funny way or, or have a big nose or something, but you know, a saved brother could have those same faults. So we shouldn't make fun of other people for that, you know, if they're heretics or not. So I do appreciate Jeremy apologizing. And, uh, sure. you know, I've been no, guilty it, of that. I made, jokes, I made jokes and stuff like that before, and I felt guilty of that. So, yeah. yeah. No, and, and Jake, to your point, because I, I said, I kind of said this earlier, and, you know, I know for myself, I've kind of gone a little too far in some ways. Um, you know, I, I would agree. I've kind of gone far in some of that. And, like I said, you know, you know forgive me for, you know, out there to those. I mean, I'm, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, because some of the, some, some of the, like the heresies that we've seen, it's just like, you can't help but just get a little frustrated. But yeah, even I agree, you know, just like you said, Jake, it's even I've gone a little too far um, in some of those areas and it, that it shouldn't be done. I mean, yeah, definitely, you know, I mean, yeah, you know, deal with the doctrine, name, you know, name the name, but you don't got to get into their, you know, physical. Yeah, it's, and stuff. it's the flesh. It is. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you get your feelings hurt. You get ticked off. I've done plenty of it, you know. I'm admitting to a fault. My pride gets hurt, and I and I come out. And I attack people, and I shouldn't do that. All of us have done that. I mean, it's just again, we're not we're not we're not perfect people. We struggle. Right, and we're we we try to be real. 
yeah. on our channel and we're being real right now. You know, uh, the reason we are all here right now is because we made a mistake. Um, we saw a man that, that uh, you know, was claiming to be saved, claiming to be in ministry, and we saw problems and we kept our mouth shut. And it turned into this. And that's a problem. Um, and it, I think it's a call to all of us to to follow the scriptures and say, you know what, if if I see a brother that's wrong, I need to tell him that. And if it means breaking fellowship, then I need to do that and not not continue to just put up with somebody and you see them in serious sin and in error and you just don't do anything about it. You know, it, it's it's convicting. Uh, really, and um, and I apologize to the body of Christ out there if, if you've been offended um, by Jeremy Carter and my, you know, friendship in the past with Jeremy Carter. I apologize. Um, I apologize for that. I should have, um, I should have, you know, taken care of some issues with Jeremy longer ago. Yeah, and I'll openly admit to that too because I saw. I was watching all this for a while there, and the thing that really uh, really caused me to not come out about it sooner, at least go to, you know, at least just call the meeting with him sooner, is that he posted a status a while back that he was going to get motivated again. So when I saw him post that status on Facebook, that kind of gave me a glimmer of hope because I was praying that the Lord would convict him on it. I didn't want to be the one to do this. This is not, this is not fun. This is not comfortable. No. I mean, I, I hate having to rebuke a brother. I really do. I wish I wish every single brother in the body of Christ could just simply walk, you know, according to the scriptures and do their best to either work hard or stay in line with doctrine or whatever it is they're trying to do and just deal with whatever struggles they're having. But then you get a brother that starts to go down this road and you don't want to be the one to approach them because it's sometimes, uh, depending on what the rebuke is, it can result in a shouting match. And nobody wants to shout at each other again to that. It's, it's, it causes stress and anxiety. I mean, there's no, nothing, nothing great about it. But the fact of the matter is, is I saw the Lord more and more putting it on me to at least call the meeting and try to sit down and talk with them about it. And that's exactly what I did. And I thought for sure, I honestly thought he was going to see that and say, okay, send me the link and then hop in the hangout really quick and get, and get right to it with me. I really thought, cause, cause the attitude he's always displayed, he's always displayed this attitude where he would hit, you know, where he would come at something head on and just, you know, address it and everything. But then he just completely goes the other way. And gets prideful and just and hides from everything, and it's just um, it's just ridiculous how how it's uh, gotten to this point. I mean, you know, like I just uh, I just wanted him to simply just hear hear us out and be uh, be rebuked over it. It would have been such a simple sit down, a loving rebuke, as as the Bible says, approach a brother in the spirit of meekness and and sincerity. I mean, that's all it's meant to be. I it's it's not it's not fun at all. I, I agree. And that's when I was telling some of you guys, I mean, this hurts us more than it hurts him. I know he may not yeah, think that, right. but, but that's like, it, it hurts me because I fellowship with him for a, a long time. And like I said to my, you, you, you know, like, like you're saying, like, to anyone, like, do you really think like we want to sit here and do this? You know, like, you know, I sure don't, but it needs to be done. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you cannot let leaven grow. Yeah. You've got to get it out. Yeah. And, you know, the problem is at this point, you know, he's going to start probably coming out and, and saying things and Lord only knows what, what he's going to come out with and whatever else. And, and, and it's, it's the same thing that all these people have done. Um, yeah. You don't, you don't have to, I am not anybody's God, anybody's standard. As I've always said, it's the King James Bible. And if, if, you know, it just, <laughs> all these years, People are just are with me here and here and here and here and here, and then they I get it I make them angry because of something I preach, and then they just erase everything that they supposedly stood for, and and then it just then they then they develop their own little channel, and then they have their own little following of people that have been offended by Brian Denlinger. I'm not the basis of ministry for people. I mean, you're supposed to be serving Jesus Christ, certainly mm -hmm. rebuke a false prophet, whatever, but dedicating all your time to watching everything I do, you're sick. Yeah. Seriously. It's, it's not good. <laughs> you know, I mean, people have this, this idea that I do that with Steven Anderson. I don't watch everything the guy does. 
I mean, I'd never get anything done. The guy's got what four thousand videos or something. I don't even know. Thousands of that. What, I'm gonna watch all of them. You know, I have a life. I can't do that. You know, it's it just exactly. so. But you know, whatever, whatever. It's it's. You know, just read a verse of scripture here. First Timothy chapter two, verse nineteen. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Um, and, you know, like I said, to our shame, it was a basic thing with Jeremy. He's not providing for his wife. Um, you know, I provide for my wife. I, I've often said, you know, there's been many times I've just said, I, you know, I'd really like to walk away from this whole Internet ministry thing. And just, you know, go back to my secular work. And I do secular work, by the way, on the side. Um, you know, but it's just always, you know, the Lord always pulls me back in to get these videos done. People send really good questions. And, you know, and I, okay, Lord, I'll, I'll do a little bit more videos. But, you know, uh, could you could you stop it sometime, you know, so I can get back to, you know, peaceful, the peaceful secular world again where people aren't, you know, attacking me all the time. You know, but we saw Jeremy not providing and I saw different people trying to rebuke him on it. And and he's just as soon as he gets rebuked on it, too, it was just, oh, they're lost. Yeah. You know, they tried to contact my wife. They went behind my back and they said, you know, Jeremy's not providing. Jeremy needs to work harder and whatever else. So they're lost. You know, he just mm -hmm. sends people to hell for that. And it's just. No, no, that's not right. Yeah. yeah. And I was just going to say, too, um, he, you know, whenever we tried to reach out to him for the meeting, he came up with all these different excuses. First, he tried to say that he has uh, that he was he was in danger of a stroke with the high blood pressure and all this stuff um, the, uh, it, via Facebook and everything. They didn't want to hear about um, Ed Feniger or Hate Beans Jason and stuff. Um, that's uh, quote on, word for word was said. I don't have the. Uh, I don't have the screenshots for that. That's one thing I, I'm missing. But then after saying that, um, uh, Brother JT has the screen sh screenshot. He goes to Brother JT and says that he saw a natural doctor and the natural doctor said he might have leukemia. And it's like, which one is it? You know, high blood pressure, heart attack, stroke or leukemia? You're literally, he's, he's literally lying compulsively. And they are lies because leukemia is not linked to high blood, high blood pressure or heart attack or stroke or anything like that. Leukemia is a terminal condition. If you have leukemia, you're going to die within a year. It's a, it's, it's a bone, it's a, essentially a bone marrow uh, cancer. I mean, that's like that whole thing was just ridiculous. I mean, he's, he's lied about that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, share some screenshots that I have here from, uh, from brother uh, Bible believing Vado. Cause he requested I show them to just show more about how, just how much Jeremy lies. So let me see here. Uh, okay. Yeah. I got to show this screen. Right here in my uh, my email, uh, my uh, ministry email here that I, I made. Uh, this is this is between uh, Bible believing Vato and uh, Jeremy, and this is actually very recent. Like I believe it was last night or something. But he uh, reached out to Vato to talk to him to uh, basically uh, basically lie to him, basically try to lie to Vato and get him on his side and stuff. And uh, so basically, quote, all right, let, let me know when you're available. Basically, Tim is lying about me and Brian has stabbed me in the back. Again, Jeremy, nobody stabbed you in the back. We reached out trying to talk to you and you didn't want to do it. And then he said, that's pretty much pretty much what's going on. And then screenshot down, uh, say he's going to call. Yeah, it's just a, then down here. And this is what he what he had to say. He said, I started separating myself from Tim for a long uh, for a long time now. No, you didn't, Jeremy. You were right there fellowship with me all the time. We would actually get on PlayStation Network and play games at night when I would get off work and everything together. You were not distancing, distancing, distancing yourself from me at all. You were always active and talking to me. So you're, that's lie number one. And then you said, I started noticing problems. I had to get a job because I wasn't getting donations anymore. And so I wasn't putting out mu uh, content much anymore. Okay, lie number two. He was on PlayStation Network for eight hours a day almost playing the video game Fallout 4. And now I will also point out and say that I was that I actually got the game Fallout 4 and played a little bit of it too. And I wasn't playing it eight hours a day because I work during the week. I work insanely hard with what I do, do in my profession and everything. And I don't have time to really play games except maybe one or two hours before bed, and that's it. And I cut it off. So that's, of course, um, lie uh, number two. Okay, I'm still screen sharing. And uh, 
And then uh, Tim goes and, bla and blabs his mouth uh, to Brian before, before ever coming to talk to me. He was telling Brian how I'm being lazy and squandering Brethren's money with no proof, and I emailed Brian and he never responded. He just makes a hit piece video about me called Slothfulness. And Brian, again, Brian's video was not about Jeremy explicitly. It was a, right. it was a sermon, and, you know, it started, same as my work ethic sermon that I did a little while ago. It had, yeah. you know, it, yeah, it, it basically stepped on Jeremy's toes, absolutely, because he's the one in this type of sin. But it was for the body of Christ. It's not like mm -hmm. some personal thing or whatever. It's what the scriptures say. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I never named him. Yeah, me neither. I never named Jeremy in mine. And uh, he wouldn't even talk to me about it. I don't get it. You don't even know Tim and Brian and and Brian and I had been close friends for almost two years. That's not very Christian of of you at all. Then Tim makes a video about work ethic when the lazy chump himself sits on his butt all day at home making phone calls for big pharma selling health insurance. Now I'm going to debunk this thing right here because I do not sell health. I, big pharma does not insure anybody. Let me make that clear. I am a life and health insurance agent. And I do work for a company from home and we're basically in customer service and we help people uh, help lost people get plans online for uh, for health insurance. And that's what we do. And most of these people, if uh, long story short, if you have a serious if you're like somebody that is addicted to pharmaceuticals and that's on uh, an application to see if you qualify for coverage, um, you will get denied. Health insurance carriers don't want to insure people that are drug addicts or anything like that. That's not their goal. Their goal is to just provide uh, basically a hedge of protection against lost people that don't have the Lord to trust in essentially. So again, that's a, that's a big lie. And that's a serious lie, Jeremy. That's, that's a very, that's a def, that's a defamatory lie right there that you put out because that's, that's completely wrong. And, and um, basically, and they said, you know, what a hypocrite, there's just a lot of other details. Let me go down. Other details that I would have to explain over a over a voice call. Tim's a liar and a fraud. He has no evidence to support his accusation. Jeremy, I have shown all the evidence I need. We have we've we've shown all the screenshots, everything that you do. I mean, you're you're the one who's the liar. You're the one who is in serious sin, and you're going so far as to just attack attack me or any of the brethren for anything you can think of. And this right here, this is a serious lie because I do not work for big pharma. I work for just health insurance carriers and we are just basically customer service representatives. That's basically what we do. And it's just ridiculous. I mean, this whole thing right here is a complete lie on his, on his part and a very big lie. So I just want to show that that's how far he's going to try to just say or do whatever, whatever he can. Okay. And then, then there's more. Um, he said, no, cause it wouldn't do any good. He's a narcissist. He's going around and trying to pry info about me. When I've tried to just move on, but he just won't let it go. No, Jeremy, you won't let it go. I didn't make a single status about this. The only couple of people I talked to was Brother Brian and JT and, and Jake here for a little while. And then we just, I was trying to be so nice to you, Jeremy. You have no idea. I was trying to show you so much grace and not ever talk about any of this stuff. I was just going to let you go. And if you wanted to leave YouTube and do the thing where you just ghost yourself out and just don't want to be a part of YouTube anymore, then that's fine. I was going to let you do that. But then you sat here and started conveying all these lies and stuff, trying to turn people against me and now even brother Brian, Jake and everybody. I mean, now your sin is finding you out and you need to be rebuked publicly. But um, um, let me see, where was I? When I've just tried to move on, but you just won't let go. If Tim's right on this whole thing, then why is he so worried about what I'm doing? Just weird. When Tim wanted to let wanted to talk it out, he wanted Jake there too to gang up on me. No, Jake had concerns too. And actually Jake, Brother Jake came to me first about this, which actually sparked this whole thing because I was holding off. I was hoping and praying to the Lord, praying to the Lord that he would convict you and everything. I was praying this stuff wouldn't happen. But then you uh, you just had to go and get prideful and run away. So Brother Jake actually came to me. and We talked about it. And we finally decided to call a meeting because he offended both of us. So therefore, we both had to sit down and talk with them. And then here he goes again with another line, record the conversation like he did with Mario. For, for those of you who don't know, I rebuked, about two years ago, I rebuked Vigilant Christian Mario because the guy was in a serious heresy. He was believing the heresy of annihilism. And annihilism is just, I mean, if you don't, if you don't believe that God's going to put people in hell forever and they're going to be alive, weeping, wailing, gnashing of teeth, like the Bible says, you're not saved. It's Because it's, uh, you're basically questioning God's righteousness when you get into a doctrine like that. Yeah. But um, again, that's I did a video rebuking Mario and he's trying to say I was going to do the same thing to him and everything. I wasn't going to record anything. It was not about that at all. This is not some ploy or some scheme. 
I just wanted to sit down and simply talk, uh, talk to him. And then, uh, and then, cause he wanted to record me uh, getting angry. I'm not that stupid. Sorry. And, <laughs> you know, again, that's just another, just another excuse of why he couldn't talk to us. Cause he told, as I said, he told me and, and uh, Jake here that he had, you know, high blood pressure and he couldn't get into stressful situations. And that's why he couldn't do the meeting. So again, just another lie on his part. And then he said, I've been so mad at Tim and I see him for what he is. Trust me, there's a lot more going on than just this. Too much to explain over text. It's pretty bad. And that's the uh, the last message he sent to uh, to Brother Vado here. But point being is he's just completely lying, lying, lying just about everything. Yep. <laughs> well, I think we've pretty much said what needs to be said. Um, we can keep going on here, but, you know, I got to get going here because – uh, got a lot of stuff to do yet, but um, I'm going to be coming out with uh, I have a couple sermons written up, and I just need to get time to record them. Um, you know, just really busy. I mean, we're all busy, you know, and it just to to have to do this, to have to take care of this. None of us wanted to do this. It was all just we were you've know, been talking and just saying, what do we do here? What you know, and yeah, you know, it it just it, it gets so annoying after a while. These people that that just, you know, just spend all their time going after our ministries and things. And, and you know, I mean, I don't know, we could be, the, the body of Christ is in, you know, exactly what the Bible said, that there'd be a falling away. And it's just distressing to see more and more people falling away. And when they fall away, they don't just fall down with their hands folded. They're, they're grabbing for other people to try and pull them down with them. And that's what we're seeing with Jeremy. He's emailing people and things, and and um, it's it's a shame, you know. Um, people can walk away from my ministry or any of the brethren here. You can walk away and say I don't agree with them and whatever else, but don't change your stance. You know, I mean, if the Lord has shown you something and you're you're saved, definitely born again, and the Lord showed you something, um, don't change your stance. Don't flip flop. Don't be double minded, as the Bible says, so you can fit in with one group or another. Um, fit in with the Bible, fit in with with what Jesus Christ is going to judge you, the standards of Scripture. You're going to be judged by the standard right here. OK, not 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 there. Yeah. <laughs> Brooklyn was wrong in quite a few areas. Yeah. The Bible. All right, that's the standard. All right. And and uh, this changing stands to to fit in with another group is just it's repulsive to me i, I just i think it's just so yeah. that, that defines the layer to see in church period you know um the neither cold or hot they're lukewarm they change they compromise and um that's what jeremy's doing so this is a public rebuke of jeremy carter um i've unsubscribed from him and I'm not going to be watching his stuff anymore. Uh, if he would come out and repent of things and whatever else, um, you know. Uh, oh, uh, I do see something right here. What cult did he join? Let me just explain real quickly the, the system that Jeremy's just jumped over to. Um, people that are Trinitarian, radical Trinitarian, not just I don't understand some of the scriptures and whatever else, but they're denying that Jesus Christ is fully, completely God in himself. Okay. They, they'll lie about us, call us modalists. I mean, there's all the stuff there. These people do not believe in prayer for salvation. You don't call upon the name of the Lord to be saved. There's no repentance. There's no changed life after salvation. Well, there's repentance, but it's going from unbelief to belief. It's all mental. Salvation for these people is all up here. It's all an intellectual consent to things and facts and whatever else. Um, they're just, you know, it, it's it's disgusting. And to, and to go over to these people, um, this Max Bauer guy, it's not even re his real name. Guy can't even use his real name because he's a criminal, has a criminal record. These people came on and destroyed my Patreon account through infiltrating it and sharing you know, Patreon videos on YouTube, which is illegal. You can't do that. Yeah. And Jason Singerling was involved in this. These people are all involved in Ed, Ed Fenninger, Pale Eddie, we call him and things. 
um, you know, I mean, these people are all involved in that and they're just, they're wicked. They're completely wicked. They lie. They, they just, and Jeremy for him to go and, and they're attacking Jeremy and they're against Jeremy. And now he just goes flip and flips over to them. It's false. It's false. Um, so whatever, um, you know, I, I just, our time online brethren is limited. Let's just, let's just face that. Um, YouTube is run by people that hate Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And the time is going to come when we're, we're not going to be here anymore. None of our channels, Bible believing channels are going to be gone. Um, you know, we're having issues right now with PayPal just to tell everybody about that. And, uh, if anybody has any suggestions about something that we could use other than PayPal, I'd love to hear about it. Um, you know, PayPal is, has come out and said, you know, we need to see proof that your ministry is, you know, that you actually have, you pay taxes and whatever else. And we sent them all of our official documents showing us we, you know, are registered here in the state of Maine. Um, we have a tax number. We have all this other stuff. And they said, Mip, sorry. We're, uh, we're going to be closing down your account um, in terms of you being able to use PayPal to buy things or whatever else. So it, it's just, it's, it's insanity. Um, the internet is going to crack down on Bible believing Christians. That's going to happen. Um, and so uh, with the time we have left, brethren, uh, we really need to be to focus on, you know, getting things out there and, and, getting the true gospel out um, because we don't have much time left. I really don't, I really believe that. And just seeing another guy that was acting like he's one of us and then just to totally flip and go over to the enemy side, the people that just stalk us and try to shut us down and he jumps over to them. That's terrible. What a shame. Mm -hmm. So you guys can say whatever you want there. Um, in closing all i can all i can really say is is he you know um he just simply owes us all, all an apology you know if he if he wanted to repent and get right there's there's a good chance that he can be you know he can be forgiven and stuff but the route he's going down doesn't seem like he's going to do that he just wants to let his pride guide him he wants to let his pride get the best of him and now he's fallen into the snare of the devil you yeah. know I'll just say one thing quickly. I mean, we've said everything needs to be said, and like I said, it just it hurts. And and like 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 all of us, I don't think any of us wanted to be here today doing this. Because I mean, again, brother, I'm no one special, but I'm already I'm doing other things right now, like for the Lord, trying to get truth out there. I mean, I'm already in the process of writing writing another book. I, I'll make announcements about that in the future, but way way more involved than my first one, you know. And just and then taking days where I just I'm going to dedicate time and take just stacks of tracks and go out. And I've had, and I've had the opportunity, you know, you know, to talk to people and actually, you know, tell what salvation is about. And that's really what needs to be done at this point, brethren, as you know, we have got, I mean, just, if you, if you aren't now, get on it. You've got to just find time whenever you can just to try to witness to people, whether it be online or in person, whatever you've got to do it. I mean, like I said, I don't know when he's, the Lord's going to call us out, but it will be soon. And, you know, we said that we said that every day, but you know, you know, you know, how soon is soon? You know, it could be right now. You've you've got to get out there and don't do what he what he's been doing and saying, oh, that's not really my ministry. No, no it is your ministry. You need to get out there and preach Jesus Christ and tell people the gospel. So, and do not compromise. And and, and I will say one thing very quickly, very quickly, um, too. If he does, I imagine he'll probably make some sort of statement. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest bit. If you And if he says anything about myself, Tim, Jake, or Brian, uh, I mean, I'll speak for myself. If you have questions for me, you can email me. You can ask me any question you want me to. Or even if if anyone thinks you have, you have a problem with me, but I'm wrong some, just come talk to me. And that's the same way for any of us. Mm-hmm. Just talk to us. If you don't communicate, you got problems. So that's all I got to say. That's that's one last thing I wanted to mention too is 
it's a, it's you know it's kind of a obviously it's a worldly term but it's still you know very much true honesty is the best policy and you know the whole point of fellowship and being the body of Christ and us being what the a real a real spiritual family is just be honest with each other just be able to say what you need to say and you know the bible commands us all to be in the spirit of love and meekness obviously unless you become a heretic and then go through a couple of admonitions that's a different story but the fact of the matter is is just be honest that's all you got to do is just be able to be honest about things and be transparent. Yeah. Did you want to say anything, brother Jake? Um, no. Um, this, uh, yeah, I think Tim's right there. I mean, that's a good, good place to close. So, I mean, it's just, it's just down to that. I mean, I mean, I hope everyone understood, you know, the, the situation we're in. And so, yeah, if there's anything else you need to know, I mean, there's, questions about it and so i mean it's open now it's made public and so um it's just uh i didn't know this was going to happen until you know um an hour ago or when uh tim texted me about this before this all started so um but yeah i mean that's that's really it and th these things may seem you know uh you know minor or, or not a big deal but i mean we're all in fellowship here we've all you know grown to be friends and the way this has turned out, you know, this is not how a friend acts. So, yeah, you know, we should just really be honest with each other because, I mean, when you let things just drag out like this, it turns ugly. It gets worse. So, yeah, just be honest. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that's about it. Um, let's close with a word of prayer. Amen. Let's do it. Um, dear Heavenly Father, I really do pray that you would strengthen the brethren out there and um, help us to keep our eyes focused on your word, uh, not on our flesh, Lord, because when we act in our flesh, we start doing things and saying things that, that, are, that are foolish. And I pray, Lord, that we would remember that there are people out there that have a lost soul and uh, they want to hear the truth. And uh, when we encounter people that, that uh, try to deceive us, and infiltrate our, our numbers and and things. I, I pray, Lord, that we would deal with it uh, according to your word and not let it continue and, and hope that they get right, but just deal with it and move on. And um, and remember that, that ultimately we are accountable to you and, and we're going to have to answer, Lord, for missed opportunities and things that, that uh, we could have um, uh, preached the gospel to the lost. And instead, we took that time to to bicker and to fight with people that have no desire for truth. I just pray, Lord, that uh, you would help us all with the sins that we struggle with and um, help us all to be uh, more serious about our relationship to you in the time that we have left. And I ask it all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And that's where I think we should leave it. Let's not waste time. Um, just got to move on from this. And if Jeremy comes out, Jeremy, if you want to come out and, and say stuff about us, lie about us, um, <clears throat> join up with the enemies of this ministry and, and every, you know, the other brethren here too. Um, okay, fine. You do what you want. Um, but if you're saved, Jeremy, then, then you'll focus on the gospel. And, uh, that's going to be it. So I guess everybody out there, just, just stand by the word. And, um, you know, if, if uh, YouTube eventually is gone and the Bible believing channels are, are no more, then you take stands for whatever, you know, in your area and uh, don't compromise. Okay. So that is going to be it. Thanks to everybody out there for watching.